Hey guys, Lester Diaz here. This is gonna be a quick follow-up video to my last video where I show you how I was able to generate thousands of visitors to my blog just within a few minutes of using ManyChat. And what I'm gonna do in this video is give you a proper review of what ManyChat is all about, how you can use it, and how you can basically use it to send traffic to anything that you want, whether that's a video, a blog, or any website that you want. All right, guys, so I'm inside my ManyChat account for one of my accounts. Uh, inside of ManyChat, you can have multiple pages where you can build subscriber bases for each of those pages. And basically how it works is you sign up and every single page counts as one account. So you can have, for example, four or five different pages and you can be building subscribers for each of those pages from one ManyChat account. What you're seeing right now is my biggest account. I have in this one about 49,000 subscribers uh, so far, and I'm going to show you the stats, uh, net subscribers, so you can see how much, how many subscribers I get on a daily basis for this account. And the biggest day so far this month was about 458 subscribers in a single day. Uh, on average, you can see 100 and something. So that's new people who are subscribing to receive updates on Facebook Messenger uh, from my page and allows me to just send a message to thousands of people in a matter of minutes and I can send them to pretty much any video, any post or anything else that I want. Now there are some limitations which I'm gonna talk about in this video. So you do have to know the rules uh, behind using ManyChat and making sure that you don't break those rules are what's gonna keep you from being basically uh, banned from using Facebook Messenger for marketing purposes. So you do have to know what you're doing, um, but I'm gonna cover some of the basic stuff. And they do provide a very helpful guide uh, for beginners, which uh, they have a help section where it explains every single aspect of how to use many of the features that ManyChat offers. Now, these are the tools that are going to help you grow your subscriber base. Now, when you have a paid account, so uh, you do have access to some free resources and free uh, tools uh, when you're a free member. But if you want to go a step further and actually be able to use some of the other tools to help you get more subscribers using your Facebook page, then I suggest getting a paid membership, which I believe is about $10 per month to, believe, to, to, to actually get started. So on the growth tool section, there's a button on the right hand side. I don't know if you can see it on this video, but you click on it. It'll take you to uh, the widgets. This is where you can set up multiple different types of widget, depending on uh, what you're looking for to get people to subscribe to your uh, messenger bot. As you can see, they have overlay widgets, slide ins, uh, pop ups, basically. And this is the one that I'm using on many of my blogs right now. You get a, 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 a small pop up saying, hey, if you want to get the updates or daily newsletter uh, via ManyChat or via Facebook Messenger, just click here and it'll take them through the process of subscribing using their Facebook account and they'll be automatically added to your ManyChat account. Now page takeover, it's another one as you can see an overlay above your whole website which you can use. You can also embed a, a button inside of your post if you want or a simple box somewhere on your blog or website. There's also the ability to create landing pages to get people to subscribe to your bot uh, using a landing page, a uh, specific uh, link that you can send to people, and then the Facebook comment section, which is basically if you have a viral post on Facebook and, and, and you can attach that viral post to your ManyChat account. And when people comment on that post, um, they'll get a notification to be added to uh, your uh, Messenger bot. So they do give you multiple options for you to uh, either you know implement your website or your blog, or you can also get subscribers from within Facebook itself. As you can see on the left-hand side it says ads, that's because now you can, and this is a brand new thing that they're releasing where you can actually create ads specifically for uh, Messenger subscribers from within ManyChat. You simply hook it up to your uh, Facebook ads account and you can create a uh, an ad to get people to subscribe to your ManyChat. So let's say you wanted to create a video or something and when they actually click the button to uh, learn more, 
then they'll be prompted to register or, or re receive updates from Messenger. Whatever it is that you're asking them to do, they'll be actually added to your ManyChat account. So in this case, you'll be paying for every single new subscriber that you can get from within your Facebook ads. This would be a really uh, fast way to, to grow your uh, Messenger to thousands of people really quick if you have the budget. If you don't have the money to invest into Facebook ads and actually grow that into you know thousands of people real quick, the best way to do it is to just do it over time and, and use some of the widgets that they provide to get some of the traffic that's already visiting your blog or website to sign up to get updates from your Messenger bot. And again, you can also do that from within your Facebook post inside of your uh, uh, Facebook page. You can hook it up to the Facebook comments for a specific post. If it goes viral, I, only, I would only suggest you do this for a post that gets a lot of people that engages and comments. Then you would actually go and use this feature to get people to subscribe to your Messenger bot. All right, so let's talk about the feature of actually sending a message to your audience. Once you start having people subscribe to your ManyChat bot, you want to be able to send messages to those people whenever you can. So I'm going to show you there's some limitations, but I want to talk about them in this video so you know exactly what you're getting into. So I'm just going to click to send a new message and, and the broadcasting feature is right there. You just click the button and that's it. You can send a message. And as you can see, you can just add text here and it'll give you a little preview box on the right hand side and uh, in that preview box you can just uh, see how your message is going to look if you wanted to add more stuff you can do like emojis if you wanted to do that uh, you can also do like uh, first name last name the page name and there's some different uh, stuff that you can add to your message to make it look more uh, personalized if you want to add a button to you know send them to a specific place you can make them call a specific number open a website or send a uh, specific message if you want to to actually engage with your message or a conversation that you're having automatically with your uh, subscriber you can definitely do that uh, in fact there's a, a little section here that says go to flow builder and you click on it and it open a series of steps that you can follow to create a flow uh, kind of like a sales funnel or a funnel where you just uh, add different steps depending on what type of answer those people actually choose if you put something like yes and no if they choose yes then you can send them a message if they, if they choose no then you can send them a different message and it depends on what they uh, interact and what they do you can create multiple customized messages for those people depending on the answers that they give you. So I'm going to go back to the basic builder so I can show you uh, what that looks like. And as you can see, I can just customize this uh, text if I wanted to do that. And I can send them to a specific web address if I wanted to do that as well. And then I could just tag that, um, uh, you know, like a specific tag that I could add to just make sure that if, that, if I'm sending an offer, if I'm sending uh, a link to a specific post and I want to tag those people with a label, I can also do that so I can, you know, reach out to those specific people and a follow up later the next day if I wanted to do that. So it, it provides you with so many choices and things that you can do that, um, you know, it gives you a whole new world when it comes to uh, reaching out your perfect audience and knowing exactly what they want. So let's say that I had my message all done and I wanted to actually send the message. Then I would go to the next step. As you can see, there's three types of messages. There's the regular subscription where you can just send a message to your entire list. Then there's the promotional uh, message where basically you can only send one of these for uh, to subscribers who are active in the past 24 hours. So for this one, you can actually say, hey, listen, I'm trying, to, I'm selling this special price. Uh, if you buy this today, you can't do that, to those type of ads with this one. You would have to do it with promotional uh, messages and all, that would only get to people who are actually engaged with your bot in the past 24 hours. Now a follow up, it's pretty much the same thing. It's a follow up message that you can do after the 24 hours have ended to those specific people that you have labeled or have engaged uh, with your messages somehow. 
So you do have to know the differences between these three types of messages because you don't want to mess up. You don't want to break the rules because if you do, Facebook can say, hey, listen, I don't want you sending you, uh, I don't want you to send more promotional messages all the time, 24 seven to these people. So that's why they have these rules. So, uh, you know, if you want to send a promotional message that you're selling something, then you know exactly, you know, uh, which type of message, how to, how to actually classify that message. If you're just sending a regular uh, notification, uh, if you're just sending a message that doesn't contain any type of sales marketing, or you're not promoting anything, then you can just send it to your entire list. Now, once you've chosen what type of message you want to send, you can do like a schedule. You can schedule it for any time or any day that you want, um, or you can just send it immediately if you want it. As you can see the notification settings here, it says regular push. So that means you'll get a notification on their phone saying, hey, you have a new message on Messenger from uh, your Facebook page. So that's how easy it is to use ManyChat. Of course, there's it's a little bit more complicated than this because they, they have templates, they have flows, they have a sequence that you can set up, like a welcome sequence that you can set up for every new subscriber. But I'm not gonna go into the details of all of that because this is designed to be just a basic overview of what ManyChat is all about, how I actually personally use it. Um, I don't go overboard with all the features. I use, use it to build my audience, be, be able to promote some of the posts that actually get a lot of traffic, promote videos and do different things that I wanted to do. Um, and also do some Facebook ads to grow my audience on ManyChat as well. There's people who are using this to actually promote uh, and sell real estate to basically promote their products and services. There's so many possibilities and so many ways to use this that uh, you really do have to take the time to study everything that they have and, and making sure that how you can apply this to your niche and how you can apply it to your business to actually help you make more money. So now you know how powerful ManyChat can be. Um, I suggest that you sign up for a free account. All you need is just a Facebook page. And if you want to get started with ManyChat, uh, it's free in the beginning. And then after that, as you gain more subscribers, you'll need to pay for a membership fee. It starts, I believe, at $10 per month and it goes up as you gain more subscribers. But as you can see, it is totally worth it if you have a blog, if you have a channel, if whatever it is that you have, if you're able to build a subscriber base and send thousands of people to a video or a post or whatever it is that you want, then uh, that's definitely gonna help you boost your brand, make more money. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.